Good morning, it's Disney day. It's just after seven o'clock and we are about to hit the road. Baby, are you excited? Daddy helped us pack up the car. I think we have it all though. We've got all of our drinks. I've got my pillow blanket, lots of snacks, my suitcase. Mom's is under there somewhere. Her pillow, more snacks, stroller. We've got the whole deal ready to go. And then we decided to switch her car seat front facing for the trip. Normally we are rear facing, but I figured, you know what, let's mix it up for the road trip. She'll have a little more leg room and I think this will be a really nice little mix up for her. And then I have her little basket with all of her activities, tablet, coloring books, all the things. Our cooler that has our lunch packed for the road. We have drinks, snacks, everything's ready to go. Diaper bag, her little tray. So I think, I think we're ready, but that's it. <gasps> Hi, are you excited? I saw a visual. Yay! <laughs> all right, this is our first official gas station stop. So we made it about four and a half hours before having to fill up. We stopped about two and a half hours in for a bathroom break and a diaper change. So this is our second stop, but first stop at a gas station. So <laughs> Ellie has been doing amazing. We've gone through a couple coloring books. We've done, what else we've we done? Lots of snacks. We haven't turned the tablet on yet. As you can see back there, she's asking for it. I'm trying to hold off as long as possible. It is, our clocks have switched over to Eastern time. So it's almost 12, it's 11.45. Um, so we're almost halfway, not quite halfway. We have about six and a half hours left. So we're doing good. It's been a good morning. We're gonna do some lunch in the car. That way our next stop can be kind of a play stop, let her kind of get out and just run around and let lunch be an actual activity in the car is kind of my thoughts. So anyway, it's going really, really good though. I'm very impressed with Ellie Rose. She's been doing amazing. All right. Instead of finding a rest area after our gas station stop, <laughs> wait, Ellie Rose, come back. Ellie. <laughs> We're just going to make a few loops in coals in the air conditioning. I figured that was way better <laughs> than letting her get her wiggles out in I the heat. I don't know, let's go find her. Let's go. <laughs> Did Juju get that for you? Are you excited? We will be listening to that song on repeat the rest of the drive. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just made it to stop number three. It is about three o'clock. We have just over four hours to go. So this is our third bathroom break. We probably need to do another diaper change, but we did lunch in the car and Ellie's been watching the show. No nap. <laughs> I've been hoping and trying to set her up well to see if she'll fall asleep in the car, but bugs everywhere but no nap, so that's okay. But what do you think, baby? Come here, Ellie Rose. <laughs> Letting her get some wiggles out right now. Uh, my mom's walking with her, so. <sighs> All right, we're gonna keep going. Are you so excited? She's just so happy to be out of the car. <laughs> All right, we gotta unload the car and go head up and find our room. I should probably help. <laughs> okay, it is just after eight o'clock. It ended up taking us about 11 and a half hours to get here, but you know what? I think overall we did pretty good. We ended up sitting in an hour of traffic <laughs> towards the end, so that was a bummer, but we made it, we're here, and oh, it's just so good to be here and have the car. We just got checked in, 
and we are in a handicap accessible room, which normally would be totally fine, but this room does not have a shower or a split bathroom for Ellie Rose, which is why we were so excited about these studios that you can share with 1311. So I went down to double check if they had any other studios that we could move into that were not handicap accessible that had a split bathroom and had a bathtub for our toddler. And of course they are totally full. So this is where we're at. We're gonna make it work, no bathtub and no split bathroom. So it's just one open bathroom. I'll show you here in a minute. I'll do a full room tour. This is not ideal for a toddler, but ooh, pack and play. I totally forgot to request a pack and play. I'm just gonna run back down. Not ideal for a toddler, but this is the room we were given. So if you have little ones, put in a request to not have the handicap room. I didn't even think to request to not have that room. It just never crossed my mind. Um, and this is all that's available. So we're just gonna make the most of it. And you know, we're here two nights and then we move over to Old Key West. So it's not worth, you know, she said she could move us tomorrow night, but I was like, no, I don't wanna have to move both nights. So we're gonna make it work. Okay, pack and play is requested. So here is our room, we are 1311. So this is the bathroom. This is what I mean by no split bathroom. It's just one open space, which I could see how this would be nice for some people. I mean, normally this would be no problem at all. And the shower is really nice. I mean, same beautiful shower, you know, walk-in space. It doesn't have the glass door or anything like that lots of space i mean it's very spacious in here and then you have the sliding door so we'll still be able to put ellie in here in a pack and play but we'll just have to figure out you know using the restroom and showering you know a little bit differently so everything else about the room is pretty much the same so we're using this space as all of our storage right now and then kitchenette so you have an actual refrigerator, so it's more than the beverage cooler, which I'm excited about. And it looks pretty deep, so that's very nice. And then storage, paper towels, microwave, toaster, all of your coffee amenities. And then lots of storage in here, more in here, all of your paper goods can opener, wine opener, cups, and then a sink. I feel like this is larger. I feel like this is a little bit longer than a normal kitchenette. I don't know, I could just be making that up, but <laughs> it feels very large. And then closet space, extra pillow and blanket, storage, hair dryer, you know, all of your normal closet things. Full length mirror on that wall no I wouldn't say that's full length it's it's a mirror <laughs> the one other difference is that the bed is very low to the ground so with these rooms you do not have that additional storage underneath the bed so that is gonna be a little bit different so you would not be able to store anything under here there's no drawers or anything like that and then no, I don't see any outlets, any USB outlets on this. There should be an outlet. Okay, no, they're down here. Okay, just look look below. <laughs> and then pull down Murphy bed. So this is one of the new additions to these deluxe studios here in the Grand Floridian Villas. So these, I mean, these feel brand new. And then let me see again, you guys know how I am with these one-handed, hang on. Okay. Let's see. Is it gonna hit the door? Let's see. Oh. I know. Sorry. Okay, let's see. I should probably move these little pillows, but. Um, is that really how it goes? Yeah. On the table? Well, I need to move the tables. <laughs> but just so you can see what it looks like, and then you have this really fun Mary Poppins oh my goodness. artwork up here. And there's a light switch. I'll have to go around <laughs> to look at wow. the light switch. So that is the Murphy bed. And then coffee tables. And then if Ellie was old enough, but she's just 
not quite there yet. Let me move this chair out of the way. Um, we could utilize this little pull down bed, but she's just not quite there yet. She's still in a pack and play, but really sweet artwork under there. This comes with bedding on it already, which is nice. Okay, more storage in here. Nice table and chairs. And then we have a standard view. Wow, this we're catching the very end of the sunset out here. But this is our view. Very nice. Ah. So you can see the walkway to the main building. We can see the monorail going by. When it does come by, we'll be able to see it. And then you can kind of see the water over there. They have the movies under the stars going. You can see a tiny bit of the pool. So this is a standard view. So very nice. And then, I mean, it feels pretty, spa pretty spacious out here. And I like that both of these doors open up. It feels very fancy. It's not your sliding door. I don't know. It just feels very nice. So, so beautiful. So that is the room that we ended up with. And, you know, it has its drawbacks when you have a toddler, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, we got all unpacked in our room and now we are in the main building. We are gonna head over to Gasparilla's and mom hadn't walked through the Grand Floridian since I was little. So we were like, we have to cut through this way just to walk through the building. I mean, it's a must. So we're gonna go get some dinner. It's like after nine o'clock, so it's very late. Ellie's doing amazing. I am so impressed. Here, we'll go through that door. I'm so impressed with her. She, I mean, has done amazing. Anyway, it's it's just been such a great day. So you can hear the fireworks going off. <laughs> I know. So she's doing amazing. I know, they're right here. Yay. <gasps> oh no, it's just now starting. <gasps> I thought it was ending. I thought the we were catching the finale. Ooh, mom, let's go back over this way. Or do you want to watch it over here? <gasps> what do you want to do? <gasps> Baby, turn around. down at Gasparilla's after the surprise outdoor fireworks viewing. It's almost 9.45 ish and so I was not expecting the fireworks to go late but it was a nice surprise. So now we are eating some pizza at Gasparilla's and then we're gonna go to bed. I'm so tired. I don't even know how Ellie is doing so well right now <laughs> but she is and She's loving the pizza. She's been asking for pizza all day, so, or really just for the past couple of weeks, so this is perfect. So, we are going to enjoy our pizza. What do you think? Is it good? She's so focused on this pizza. All right, we are all ready for bed. I'm sure you can hear the sound machine in the background. My goal was to get Ellie down in her crib, pack and play, as quick as possible, because it is after 11 o'clock. I had no idea we would be out this late but the day doesn't always go as expected, especially travel day. But today has been absolutely amazing and I did not get it on video. I got it on my Instagram story, so I'll see if I can insert a little thing here. But we were able to see the fireworks from our balcony. So they have started doing fireworks at nine o'clock and 11 o'clock. So we got to see the 11 o'clock fireworks from our balcony. What the heck? We have a standard view, so I was not expecting that at all. It was incredible, and it's just been such a magical night, and we haven't even gone to a park yet. I mean, this is a dream come true staying here, and I just can't believe we're here. So, oh, I'm so excited. So tomorrow is Magic Kingdom, and we're doing the fireworks dessert party tomorrow. I mean, we are, this is like a fireworks heavy trip, apparently but 
I wouldn't have it any other way. Ellie is just so excited about the fireworks, loves them. And it's so, so sweet, already so different at two and a half, seeing her excitement as compared to our last trip with her when she was 22 months old. Huge difference already. So I'm so excited for our park day tomorrow. It's gonna be amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching our travel day, check in at the Grand Floridian and make sure you're subscribed. I will see you in my next one. Bye.